Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Let's call this State of New York Mortgage Agency Mortgage Insurance Committee meeting to order. Um, let's see. Hey, Marge. Good morning. Good morning, Marge. Uh, I'd like to note that uh, Marge Rogetz is participating in the meeting via video conference from Champion Office Suite 1225 Franklin Avenue, Suite 325 Garden City, New York and request a motion and a second to call to order the November 10, 2016 meeting of the Sunny May Mortgage Insurance Committee. The motion and second recorded will be used for all action items before the committee unless specific items call for a different vote or unless any committee member wishes to record his or her vote differently. We have a motion and a second. So moved. Second. Second. <laughs> uh, you're third, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Feature two. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the minutes of the Mortgage Insurance Committee held on October 13, 2016 shall be deemed approved, absent corrections from the directors. Okay, the meeting will move to the Mortgage Insurance Committee program action items. Item 2, resolution recommending the approval of 100% mortgage insurance on an $18,750,000 HFA permanent first mortgage loan for DePaul Upper Falls Square Apartments. 356 Hudson Avenue, Rochester, Monroe County. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, this loan comprises the development of 150 low-income units, of which 75 will be reserved for clients of the New York State Office of Mental Health. And OMH will contract with DePaul, the, um, both the borrower and the um, operator, pursuant to a contract between DePaul and OMH OMH will pay 100% of the $1.2 million annual debt service for the full 30-year life of the HFA loan. Um, OMH will also provide rent and support services for these 75 supportive housing units. There is a pilot agreement with the City of Rochester. The insured loan amount is $125,000 per unit, which equals only 40% of the project's total development cost of 309000 per unit. Um, this is the 11th loan that we are insuring for entities controlled by DePaul. Our total exposure is $72 million. Questions? A any questions? This is a great project. It's a great project. Okay. The resolution before the Mortgage Insurance Committee is recommending approval of mortgage insurance and a commitment for the provision thereof for DePaul Upper Falls Square Apartments, 356 Hudson Avenue, Rochester, Monroe County. Assuming the first and second previously entered, all in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 The motion is carried. Item three, resolution recommending the approval of 100% mortgage insurance on a $7,530,000 HFA permanent first mortgage loan for Temple Hill, Temple Hill Apartments 2 and Bella Vista 1 Apartments, 3000 Corporal Tremblev Way, 5000 Nicholas Brooks Court, and 48 to 66 County Highway 78, New Windsor, City of Milltown, Orange County. This project comprises the development of 160 low-income units, of which 54 will be supportive housing for clients of either the New York State Office of Mental Health, the New York State Office for People with Developmental Disabilities. And the two agencies combined will pay approximately 363,000 in rent subsidies. They will not uh, pay the debt service for this project. The uh, developer is Jonah Mandelbaum, who is a repeat HFA and Sunny May borrower, and a, a well-regarded developer of affordable housing in the, um, in the Hudson Valley. This will be the 20th loan that we have insured for entities controlled by Mr. Mandelbaum. However, our total exposure is only $42 million. The insured loan amount is $46,000 per unit, which equals 21% of the project's total development cost of $220,000 per unit. So this is an efficient project. And the um, support services will be provided by Access Supports for Living Inc., 
which is an experienced OMH service provider. Any questions? The resolution before the Mortgage Insurance Committee is recommending approval of mortgage insurance and a commitment for the provision thereof for Temple Hill Apartments 2 and Bella Vista Apartments, Bella Vista 1 Apartments, uh, 3,000 Corporal Tremblay Way, 5,000 Nicholas Brooks Court, and 48 to 66 County Highway 78, New Windsor, City of Middletown, Orange County. Assuming the first and second previously entered, all in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 The motion is carried. Item four, resolution recommending approval of 100% mortgage insurance on a $7 million HFA permanent first mortgage loan for Crossroads at Baldwin Place, 57 Route 6, Somers, Westchester County. This project um, comprises the development of 62 predominantly low and some mod income units, including 52 units for tenants with at least one family member 55 years of age, and, uh, of age or older. Um, the project comports with the settlement between Westchester County and HUD, and Westchester County will be providing an $8 million subordinate loan. The project is being developed by um, the Carney Brothers who are um, experienced developers of affordable housing in the Hudson Valley and who are repeat HFA and Sunny May borrowers. Um, the insured loan amount is 109000 per unit, which equals 28% of the project's total development cost of 390000 per unit. But this includes a land cost of almost 50000 per unit. Land cost of 50000 per unit? Yeah. Where is this again? It's in West Somers, West. in Westchester. It's a funny, I mean, it's a, we talked about this, it's a funny point of view of Somers. It's, I mean, it's like way north of Westchester, uh, Pound Ridge. Mm -hmm. It's expensive, you know, but it's good to do some work out there or support yes. work out there. Not much mm -hmm. affordable housing. I mean, it shouldn't be. Helps not have a land, not a lot of land either, which is. Any questions? Okay. Then the resolution before the Mortgage Insurance Committee is recommending approval of mortgage insurance and a commitment for the provision thereof for Crossroads at Baldwin Place, 57 Route 6, Somers, Westchester County. Assuming the first and second previously entered, all in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 The motion is carried. Item five, resolution approving 100% mortgage insurance on a $5,340,000 HFA permanent first mortgage loan for West Middle School Apartments, 217 Genesee Street, Auburn, Cayuga County. Um, this project comprises the adaptive reuse of a historic middle school into 59 low-income units, of which 15 will be reserved for clients of the New York State Office of Mental Health. Um, OMH will contract to pay $288,000 per annum in debt service payments, um, which are sufficient to cover the debt service on $4,450,000 of the total loan amount. The remaining $890,000 will be serviced by the project's NOI. And OMH um, will also contract to provide rent and um, service um, subsidies for the 15 uh, supportive housing units. The development entity, um, the um, Lakewood Development, um, this is their first um, HFA finance project, but they've been in business since 2003 and have developed 546 units of affordable housing. And these, um, the support services will be provided by Unity House, a um, local not-for-profit organization founded in 1977. The insured loan amount um, funded by the project's NOI is only 15,000 per unit, which equals 4% of the project's total development cost of 335,000 per unit. Questions? 
the resolution before the mortgage insurance committee is approving mortgage insurance and a commitment for the provision thereof for West Middle School Apartments, 217 Genesee Street, Auburn, Cayuga County. Assuming the first and second previously entered, all in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 The motion is carried. Item six, resolution recommending approval of 100% mortgage insurance on a $13,900,000 CPC permanent first mortgage loan for the Lincoln Alliance building, 183 East Main Street, Rochester, Monroe County. This project comprises the historic readaptation of the um, Lincoln Alliance building, an office building, uh, former office building, into 130 um, workforce housing units and 25,000 square feet of commercial space. There is no regulatory agreement. However, the unit rents are projected to be affordable at um, between 80 and 84 percent of the Rochester AMI. There is a, a pilot agreement through Monroe County reflecting a 485A property tax abatement. And a 485A abatement um, is for the redevelopment of existing downtown buildings into mixed-use projects. In this case, the uh, workforce units in the 25,000 square feet of commercial space. The project is being developed by Morgan Management, and they, um, they've been in business um, since 1976 and own over 30,000 residential units. The loan amount, the insured loan amount is 107,000 per unit, which equals 60% of the project's total development cost of 177,000 per unit. And there is 4.1 million in equity equal to 80% of the project's total development cost. And the project would have positive cash flow with all of the commercial space vacant. Questions? The resolution before the Mortgage Insurance Committee is recommending approval of mortgage insurance and a commitment for the provision thereof for the Lincoln Alliance Building, 183 East Main Street, Rochester, Monroe County. Assuming the first and second previously entered, all in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 The motion is carried. Item 7, resolution recommending approval of 100% mortgage insurance on a $7,700,000 CPC permanent first mortgage loan for Mid-City Apartments, 1661 to 65 Main Street, Buffalo, Erie County. Um, this project comprises the adaptive reuse of a former warehouse into 55 units of workforce housing and 8,000 square feet of commercial space. Um, there's no regulatory agreement, but the, um, the rents are projected to be affordable at between 81 and 86 percent of the Buffalo AMI. 86 percent? Yes. Um, the development entity is um, Sinatra and Company. They're a new, a new borrower, both to CPC and, and to us, but they, um, they're experienced developers in western New York and they own more than 1,500 units of, of housing. They don't affordable usually. They, they, don't, they, 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 don't. they don't. The insured loan, out, loan amount is 140000 per unit, which equals 71% of the project's total development cost of 197000 per unit. And there's $1.9 million in equity equal to 18% of the project's total development and the, the project would break even with 50% of the commercial space vacant. Questions? The resolution before the Mortgage Insurance Committee is recommending approval of mortgage insurance and a commitment for the provision thereof for Mid-City Apartments, 1661 to 1665 Main Street, Buffalo, Erie County. Assuming the first and second previously entered, all in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 The motion is carried. Item 8, resolution approving 100% mortgage insurance on a $3,600,000 CPC permanent first mortgage loan for 6-20 Marshall Road, Wappingers Falls, Dutchess County. This project comprises the development of 24 units of, of workforce housing. Um, there is no regulatory agreement, but the projected rents 
would be affordable to tenants at 80% of the Dutchess County AMI. The um, development entity is controlled um, by Michael Meyer and David Stenger, who are repeat um, CPC and Sunny May borrowers. This would be the third CP loan we have insured for entities controlled by them. Um, the insured loan amount is 150000 per unit, which equals 75% of the project's total development cost of 201000 per unit. And there's $1.2 or 25% equity in the project. And the project would break even with a 17% residential vacancy rate or a 34% increase in operating expenses. Question? Questions? The resolution before the Mortgage Insurance Committee is approving mortgage insurance and a commitment for the provision thereof for 6-20 Marshall Road, Wappingers Falls, Dutchess County. Assuming the first and second previously entered, all in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 The motion is carried. Item 9, resolution recommending approval of 100% mortgage insurance on a $23,635,000 HDC permanent first mortgage loan for Story Avenue West Apartments, 1520 Story Avenue, Bronx, Bronx County. Um, this project comprises the development of 223 um, low and mod income units. Um, units will be restricted to households with incomes at 30, 50, 60, 90, and 120 percent of the um, New York City AMI. The project is being developed by L&M Development Partners, a well-regarded and experienced developer of affordable housing. The um, insured loan amount is 106000 per unit, which equals only 26 percent of the project's total development cost of 404000 The resolution before the Mortgage Insurance Committee is recommending approval of mortgage insurance and a commitment for the provision thereof for Story Avenue West Apartments, 1520 Story Avenue, Bronx, Bronx County. Assuming the first and second previously entered, all in favor please signify by saying aye. 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 Motion is carried. Item 10. Resolution approving 100% mortgage insurance on a $4,090,000 Bank of America permanent first mortgage loan for Fountain Seaview A1, 11629 Seaview Avenue, Brooklyn, Kings County. Um, this project comprises the um, development of 65 low income units, of which 17 will be reserved for clients of the New York State office for people with developmental disabilities. OPW will, um, will pay rent and um, service subsidies for its units, but they will not um, pay debt service. Um, this is the second um, project to be developed on this site. This was the um, former um, Brooklyn Development Center. Um, last month, the board approved a $12,350,000 HFA loan to the Arkers for development of a low-income project, including supportive housing, on a site contiguous to this project. I remember they arrived in a very timely fashion for the last meeting. Um, yes. We did the resolution. Yes. Um, <laughs> this will be the fourth loan that we have insured to entities controlled for entities controlled by the Arkers. Um, the insured loan amount is sixty-three thousand per unit, which equals eighteen percent of the project's. Total development cost of 358000 per unit. Questions? The resolution before the Mortgage Insurance Committee is approving mortgage insurance and a commitment for the provision thereof for Fountain Sea View A1, uh, 11629 Sea View Avenue, Brooklyn, Kings County. Assuming the first and second previously entered, all in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 The motion is carried. Item 11, resolution approving 100% mortgage insurance on a $2,809,672 Citibank 
permanent first mortgage loan for Gates Avenue Apartments, 500 Gates Avenue, Brooklyn, Kings County. Um, this project comprises the development of 68 low-income units, of which 48 will be reserved for chronically homeless um, single adults with mental illness who are clients of the New York City um, Department of Health and Mental Hygiene, um, who will be referred by the New York City Department of Homeless Services. And there will be a HAP contract for the 48 supportive um, housing units. Um, the New York City Department of Health and Mental Hygiene will contract with the service provider, the borrower and service provider, which is the Postgraduate Center for Mental Health. And this is the first loan we've seen with this structure, um, where um, there's a contract between the operator and the New York City Department of Health and Mental Hygiene. The um, insured loan amount is 43,000 per unit, which equals only 10% of the project's total development cost of 431,000 per unit. And this will be the second loan we've insured um, for entities controlled by PCMH. Any questions? The resolution before the Mortgage Insurance Committee is approving mortgage insurance and a commitment for the provision thereof for Gates Avenue Apartments, 500 Gates Avenue, Brooklyn, Kings County. Assuming the first and second previously entered, all in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Motion is carried. Item 12 is an information item. Um, I would just note that last month the mortgage reporting tax was back up to 16.7 million per month. There had been um, three consecutive months where it was 13 or 14 million a month, uh, which was less than for the same month last year. And for the first seven months of the year, we are about um, 9 million <coughs> below where we were last year. So about a million a month off last year. Last year, the total mortgage reporting tax was 189 million, so about 177 million this year. Okay. okay. Uh, there being no further business, motion to adjourn. Assuming the first and second previously entered, all in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 The motion is carried and the meeting is adjourned. Thanks, guys.